Hey everyone, welcome back. I am doing my second video for the night. And so if you saw the previous video, I was doing uh, an eight by eight piece um, for my awesome friend, Rinska. And now I'm doing the second piece that she's asked me for. Uh, so in this one, I am going to be using the colors Thalo Green by Americana. And then we have Primary Blue by Liquitex Basics. And then uh, it's a Cyan Blue, which I'm hoping is kind of like a Cobalt Blue. Um, so that is by Studio Acrylics. And then finally, we have Old Gold um, by Artist Loft. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using on this one. Um, if you, I have my white, which is Floetrol with uh, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. And I've just mixed it with Floetrol and the paint. There is no water in, in this cup here. If you are interested in uh, wondering how I mix my paints, please feel free to check out video number uh, 63, because in that video I show you my ratios for filling up these squeeze bottles. So if you want to know how I mix my paints, go and check out video number 63. So I am going to spread my white here with my beautiful spatula. Um, for those of you who keep asking where I buy all my stuff, I buy mostly everything off Amazon. Um, so I do have an Amazon shop now. Um, yay! So the link for that is listed below uh, in the description. So click on the link and you can find everything that I buy off Amazon. So for everything that I use for my acrylic pouring, for resin, um, alcohol inks, I do do those, use those as well for certain things. Um, you know, the torch, the hair dryer, heat gun, all that stuff. So all that stuff is on my Amazon shop. I am in the process of creating a US Amazon shop for those of you who are watching from the US. So I'm hoping to get that link up soon. All right, so I think I have all my edges covered almost. Let's see here. All right. Okay, so here we go. Just this side and we're good. All right, so that is done. I've got that all covered. I'm gonna pop all my bubbles. Okay. Just gonna add some white here so I can see the canvas. Okay. All right, so let's see, what am I gonna start with? I've put these ones in these little cups here because they're perfect these little they're actually condiment containers for condiments and then when I'm done because I'm not going to use all that I just put the lid on top and then I write with a sharpie um, what color is in there and these are perfect I just get them at the dollar store which is great all right so I'm gonna start with the primary blue so let's start with that start with that right here Okay, and then next I'm going to do the phthalo green. Okay. And then I will do the lighter, I guess, cobalt blue. Okay, and then some old gold. And let's see what happens with this one. So I'm going to flood it with white around. Okay. 
There we go. I will pop the bubbles. All right. Let's see what happens with this one. So we'll blow it over and then blow it back. paper towel right off the table. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, that is cool, actually. I'm really liking that. Wow, look at the gold in there. So pretty. You know, I really like that a lot. And I'm not even going to blow it. I've, I've learned to not blow on all my pieces. Look, at you can see the white cells just re just appearing out of nowhere. So it's just flooding with white cells. Let's torch it a bit and see what happens. All right, so I think the only thing I wanna do is just blow a little bit down here to give it kind of like a, a point or a tip, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna just do that. And just blow that bottom corner. There. I actually like that. And I like that there's a little corner there still left that's white. Hopefully it stays there. Because we all know that paintings don't always dry the same way we left them. So I'm hoping that this dries just like this. Because I actually like that. So Rinska, I hope you like this one as well. So let me bring you guys in. Let me make sure all my sides, my edges are covered. Yeah. I really like this one. I actually like this one more than the other one that I did in the previous video. But let me bring you guys down for a close up. So there it is. I like this one. This one looks pretty cool. I'm really liking the old gold in there. Whoops, going the wrong way. I can't see. Everything's backwards for me. <laughs> All right. So there it is. What do you guys think? You can let me know in the comments below. There we go. Stay. Perfect. Yeah. So let me know in the comments below, guys. This is actually turning into a really nice, like, emerald green, which is actually really cool because it's, like, aside from blue, that's my next favorite color, which I'm really liking. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Rinska, I hope you like it. Um, feel free, if you're a new uh, viewer, feel free to subscribe. Please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video or go live. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support as always. Um, don't forget about the Amazon link for any of you who wanna go shopping. And don't forget, I have my, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, all my links are listed below. Um, and the PayPal link for anyone who would um, love to donate so that I can buy materials and stuff like that so that I can keep on doing videos like this for you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm just scraping off the edges here, just the bottom, catching the drips underneath and moving the canvas as I go. All right, perfect. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until the next video, take care. Bye.